This is the 3D printed glider I have designed, built to run on either a brushless motor or a 3D printed EDF. But that's not all, I have integrated a parachute system that deploys automatically during the crash. And if not crashing, it can even drop payloads mid-air. The goal is the high endurance payload dropping RC plane. Designing it wasn't easy, it took multiple rebuilds, redesigns and even drone assisted drop tests. And in fact 90% of the time it crashed. With a wingspan of 1.2 meters, this is one of the biggest RC projects I have worked on. I have already tested deployable parachutes, click the i button if you want to check it out. For propulsion, I'll start with this 3D printed 70mm EDF and if it fails to lift the plane, then I will switch to this Dynam EDF. I have also made a video testing both of them, link is in the description. Now let's take a look at the CAD model. As with all my builds, portability is the key, so this plane is also foldable. And this is its CAD model. You can see the fuselage consists of smaller parts so that it can be printed on any 3D printer. And this is the parachute we have tested before. The wing uses a Clarkwa airfoil reinforced with 10 by 10 mm carbon fiber tube. Parts are printed at 0.8 mm wall thickness to reduce overall weight. Now let's assemble it. Here are the printed parts. The wings are mounted using 10 by 10 mm carbon fiber tubes connected to the center mount with M2.5 screws. An 8 mm tube provides extra reinforcement. The wings slide onto the frame and are fixed using glue stick. For the outer skin, I am using a 3 mm Depron sheet, just wrap and glue. The fuselage assembly starts with another 10 by 10 mm tube. This section holds servos for rudder and elevator. The nose cone is printed in TPU to absorb impact. Slide everything onto the frame and tighten it up. The tail uses a 6 mm carbon tube for horizontal stabilizer support. Once everything is joined, the tail is wrapped in Depron and finished. Winglets are attached with magnets, easy to detach during a crash. Servos go into custom mounts cut into the wing. Control surfaces like ailerons, rudder and elevator are cut, taped and connected via flexible wires. The EDF goes through the canopy and is held in place with screws. Let's move on to the design problems I found after this assembly. Big problem was the tail was too heavy, so even with a larger front battery, I couldn't achieve the proper center of gravity. And originally the parachute was meant to be mounted in the tail section, which made things worse. So here are the design changes I made. First I shifted the wing further to adjust the center of gravity. And last I redesigned the parachute system into the fuselage. Mechanically it works like the previous version, but it's more compact. I have 3D printed it and mounted it to the new fuselage connected it to my transmitter and the deployment works. To test it, I used my old foldable drone to lift and drop the fuselage. In the first attempt, the drone drifted, so I had to release it early. In the second try, it barely got 5 meters high, so I had to make another emergency drop. The drone battery was weak, the voltage dropped too fast and triggered auto landing. Even though the test failed, but I am confident that the parachute will work as I have tested it multiple times earlier. I fixed all the damage and prepared it for maiden flight. This time using a Pixar controller and a 3S 2200mAh battery. But it nosedived instantly. The reason was the weight. It was approx 1.5 kg and was way too heavy to glide. So I redesigned everything from scratch. Used two 3mm carbon fiber rods for fuselage support. Reduced wall thickness to 0.4mm, 5% in fill and printed at 60mm per second. Wingspan expanded by 20cm, total becomes 1.4m. 
द न्यू पैराशूट यूज इज इलास्टिक फोर्स एंड डिप्लॉयज यूजिंग अ सर्वो एवरी पार्ट वॉज वेट केयरफुली टू कैलकुलेट सी जी पिक्सॉक वॉज रिप्लेस विद अ लाइटर एफ सेवन अकॉर्डा कंट्रोलर I began testing with a single racing motor and a 6 inch prop. But again the thrust was not enough. So I upgraded to dual racing motors. This time it flew but crashed badly. It stalled while turning at high speed. It was a total loss. So I replaced these motors with A221 to 1000 kV motor and a 10 inch prop. But I made a mistake. The elevator servo was reversed, so instead of climbing, it crashed immediately. I repaired it all and flew again. But at high speeds the elevator wasn't effective. The flexible wire connection was weak so it was not transmitting enough force. So I have redesigned the fuselage again for a direct servo to elevator control. Also added a payload drop mechanism using a servo. This new fuselage weighs only 597 grams. Elevator and rudder are much more responsive now. First I will test with lightweight astronaut payload. It gave me smooth flight without even hitting full throttle. So here comes the first payload drop.
इट वॉज अ विंडी कंडीशन इन द सेकेंड ड्रॉप द पैराशूट रिप्ड मिड एयर एंड द एस्ट्रोनॉट ड्रॉप हार्ड सो फाइनली वी हैव मेड अ फंक्शनल थ्री डी प्रिंटेड आर सी प्लेन दैट कैन ड्रॉप पेलोड मिड एयर आई यूज अ फोर एस एटीन हंड्रेड एम एच बैटरी एट टू टू वन टू मोटर एंड एन एट इंच प्रॉप इट फ्यू फॉर फोर मिनट्स एंड ओनली कंज्यूम थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द बैटरी आई हैवन मेजर्ड करेंट ड्रॉन एज नो पावर मॉड्यूल वॉज यूज बट फॉर माई फर्स्ट आर सी ग्लाइडर आई हैव लर्न अ लॉट सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट वे मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स बिल्ड्स कमिंग सून सो गाइज वॉट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दिस प्रोजेक्ट कमेंट योर थॉट्स एंड सजेशन बिलो सो इफ यू हैव लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड फाउंड इट इन्फॉर्मेटिव दैन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई मैक निंजा यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग इट आई कैचुलेट विद द नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट